This week, we've been talking about the problem of covetousness. And as the lesson points out, covetousness is a sin of the heart. It's not like lying, stealing, and murder. Uh, It's much more subtle than that, which makes it so much more dangerous because it leaves us with the illusion that somehow we can get away with it. So, how in the world do we overcome covetousness? The truth of the matter is that it requires a death to self. Think about it. Covetousness is about us wanting something for ourselves, so much so that we're willing to go to great lengths, including sin, to get it. You see, there's no greater motivation than the love of self, which means the cure to covetousness is to die to self. The question is, how do we die to self? Well, first, you have to admit you have a problem. The Bible calls this confession. It means that we find the courage to admit that we have a problem with envy along with its cousins, greed, lust, and pride. Where there's one, the others are sure to follow. Secondly, repent. Now, repentance begins with this idea of not only admitting that you have a problem, but you come to terms with what is wrong with your problem. You see, if you don't know what's wrong with your sin and the harm that it does to you and to those around you, then you will never repent of your sin. Knowing what's wrong with sin motivates us to give up our sin. Thirdly, learn to give. The cure to greed is to live a life of generosity. It's hard to envy people their blessings when the one who's blessing them is you. Next, adopt an attitude of gratitude. Now, you've heard this before, and it's true. It's hard to resent other people's blessings when you're too busy thanking God for your own. Lastly, learn to celebrate other people's blessings. This is one of the highest forms of Christian love. When you can genuinely rejoice in other people's successes and you can learn to promote other people's gifts and abilities over your own, not only will you learn to truly live a life of love, but God will be able to say, do you see how perfect they are? Well, that was our lesson for today. Again, take a look at your lesson. I'll see you tomorrow.